Hi, I'm Terry White for Star Cottons. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a winter apron. We're going to do the little thread painting and some decorative stitching and then put together a very simple project for the winter holidays. This is the winter apron. It's a very simple apron with a pocket panel put on top of it and then the pocket panel is stitched down at each of these um, intersections to, to create the pockets. The apron is lined and uh, the front of the apron and the lining of the apron is sewn together and then turned inside out. So then I need top stitching along the edges to keep everything nice and tight. So I do a top stitch with a lightning stitch in a multicolor thread over rickrack for a decorative effect. The pocket is also lined and it has a top stitching as well but without the rickrack. You can get uh, textures, color textures with white if you do some over stitching. And then I have the silver metallic by Star which will also be doing some over stitching with that on the stars. Um, the three colors that you see there are um, sort of a gradation with greens and blues. Now when I do my decorative stitching I've got this great foot that shows center needle position and so I can ride that foot just in the center of my um, lattice strip here. Uh, when you do decorative stitching you want to lower your top tension so that the pretty threads stay on top. So I've lowered the tension on this to zero. And then you just want to guide the fabric in front of the needle. If you do too much pulling on the sides you'll change the, the, uh, the design. It'll be longer or shorter and gets a little cattywampus. So, right? That's a pretty effect. Now if you don't have very many fancy stitches on your sewing machine, you can try the utility stitches. Just be sure to lower the top thread tension. So this is for around the edges of the apron. Um, and I'm just holding the rickrack and I did that. I just held it along the side of, um, along the edge of the apron while I stitched and then made sure that the rickrack was riding under center needle position so that at all times the uh, lightning stitch was um, stitching on the rickrack. And so you can see a slight change of color. It just makes it interesting. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to stitch this. You see, now I've marked something that you don't have marked on your design and this is a preference. So you can do this if you want to and that is to mark a center point and then draw lines from this little intersection right here down to the point. Now this gives me a guide for stitching. So you can see I used those lines as a guide and now I'm just going to sort of uh, fill in a little bit more just on the ends here. Uh, it's not a real delineated thing like I'm not going to um, stitch right on that line to delineate. See, now you are going to see some of the blue coming through and that's really nice because then that way you can see the, um, you can see the stitching, really big lines of stitching. Okay, now I've threaded my silver thread from Star and stitching over the white. I'm not going to completely fill in. This way you're going to get a glimmer. It's not going to be completely filled in with the silver but you get a really pretty glimmer and shine. Uh, some areas I can fill in if, there's too, if I think there's too much blue but this is all personal once you start stitching yourself. 
it's very personal. Now see, I can go in this blue area right here and fill that in. And of course that star tip is going to be shinier than other parts. And I like that. I don't want um, complete overall shine. I like parts of it to shine and parts of it not to shine. It makes it, it makes it more lively. Now see, that is the star metallic. And you can see how fast I thread painted that. That stuff is great. That thread is wonderful to thread paint with. Here's a sample of a little moon. And what I'm stitching here are these spiral stitches. And I'm using long, nice long stitches. That means that the machine goes a certain, you can hear how fast it goes, and then I move along quickly so that the individual stitches are long. Now I'm starting with the ecru thread here. And the spiral stitches you can see is I'm spiraling from the outside in and then the inside out. This is so much fun. Even if your spirals overlap, it's good. Uh, even if they're, uh, they might be a little bit square spirals, that's okay. Because it's the overall effect that you're going to get. Now I've started with the ecru thread. And so I'm not completely filling these areas in. Now I'm coming back in with this cream colored thread. You can see that I'm sort of filling in areas. There's nothing exact about this, okay? Now, what you're going to see when you look at this close up is it almost looks like you've got iridescent white. There are two different colors of white. Uh, you're going to have some concentrated areas of ecru and some concentrated areas of cream. And so it's going gonna, it's gonna to have a nice change of color. For the little tree, I'm using this thread called Caribbean Sea. It's a multicolor. And I'm doing this sort of little U shape. You see that? And there's long color changes in this thread. So each one of these little U's can possibly be one color, but they are random color changes. And uh, they're, um, uh, so they're not consistent. So see, um, you can have them almost each individual colors, but if you don't want that, then you can go back and put another color in, uh, do overstitching. Uh, the thing is, when you start out with open stitching, you can go back in and do overstitching, and it's really effective. Now I've started at the bottom. And I'm doing them pretty big here. I did them smaller on the, little, on the tree on the apron. But I'm doing them bigger here so that you can see what I'm doing. Now as I go back on the, for the next row, I'm overstitching the top of the first row. I did not uh, delineate any lines for the rows. You can do that if it makes you feel more comfortable. So by the time you're done with the little tree, you'll see, you can see in the photo the effect that you get of the changing of color. It's really fun. Now, all of the instructions are on STARS website. And that is on, you can see that on the bottom of this video. And uh, there's a PDF file with the pattern and instructions to make the apron. And there are other patterns and instructions on the STAR website, and this video, and this pattern, and Terry White has been brought to you by STAR Threads. Have a great day.